Hello everyone and welcome to Domina. I picked this up on the Steam sale and I played it for about two hours already and it is absolutely awesome. It is like a football manager for gladiators. It is so cool. Oh my god. So I'm going to hop into a new game with you guys and we're actually going to play through it uh, tutorial style just so that you can sort of see how it would be normally done. So the sun is setting on the once mighty Roman Empire. Violent rebellion erupts in the far territories while political corruption erodes the empire closer to home. Fearing that citizens will revolt and attempt to re-establish the Republic, the Emperor has decreed that there shall be a year of epic levatorial games culminating in the greatest championship the Empire has ever seen, affording unimaginable rewards of coin and glory. The Emperor hopes to revitalize commerce and re-establish the rule of law once again, but Rome is disintegrating in his clenched fist. The next local games are scheduled to start soon, and you aim to win. So let's proceed with the tutorial. As the heiress to a once mighty ludus in the heart of the Roman countryside, you see an opportunity to ride this wave of revitalized interest in bloodshed to the ends of the empire, to burn out in a fabulous spectacle of violence and greed. And that's us right over here, the Domina. Having, ridden your f having driven your family's ludus into the ground with poor business decisions and a lack of integrity, your father bequeathed to you ownership of the ludus and its paltry holdings. On the dusty road home to assume the mantle of Lannister and Domina, a woman looks at you knowingly and proclaims, They'll never let you win. You try to put the old woman's icy stare out of your mind as your family begrudgingly surveys their new home, and your father slowly fades towards his inevitable death. Alright, so here is our Ludus, our gladiator training facility. And uh, these are our little gladiators. We have Serenus, who is a... Uh, Oh, a large man with a whip has presented himself, that guy right over there, um, and requests our ear. I see that there are games scheduled in a few days and have heard that you plan to attend. I'm going to do like a voice. I served your father for many years, but when he fell ill with the Ludus turned to ruin, I had to find my daily bread elsewhere. I would be honored to return to the Ludus and train your men for this battle. Without me, these men will be slow and stupid lambs to the slaughter. He's very pompous, you know, he's kind of a dick, really. Anyway, here's our Doctore, our uh, gladiator trainer. Oh, and okay, so this is how the game works. So the, d the days tick over in the top right there, and then you are randomly given a, a fight after a certain amount of time. And here we have a, a battle hosted by the magistrate. The winnings are 450 coin, 20 wine, and three slaves. Uh, no cost to participate, and we are allowed to surrender. And uh, one gladiator versus one gladiator, just a 1v1 match. So we're going to pick our best guy. I'm thinking Serenus over here. Well, actually, hold on. Let's let's have a look. Let's go back. Oh, wrong button. Uh, let's have a look here. This guy's a level one uh, Thrax, right? So we don't need to put our best guy. We could put our second best guy. There we go, Kale. Let's send him in and see how he does. All right, so this is basically the game mechanics. Now, the AI will fight for us until we unlock the ability to control it. And boom, boom. Okay, so we got some, we got some nasty fights coming back and forth. I also have bloodied mode enabled, so like the crowd's gonna swear and stuff, and the fights go on way longer. Okay, as you can see, we're just trading blows here, back and forth, a little bit of whittling down his health. He's visible here in the bottom right. I'm in the top right. Oh, oh, I'm I'm getting the lead. Ah, and we slit his throat, claiming victory for us and our Ludus. Great honor is ours. Okay, now he's pretty injured, so he's going to be a while before he can fight again. We, got, we, we could send him in injured, but he'll just die. There we go. So we got three more. Fabius, Gallus, and Vanius. An old man enters your villa uninvited. He appears to be a highly placed government official. He introduces himself. I am the magistrate. I was impressed with your showing in my games yesterday. Your prowess as a Lannister is evident, though you may be lacking in experience. Your father was a good man, and I am sorry to see his business and health failing. If you are in search of new slaves to turn into gladiators, I can provide you with agreeable stock. The smell of wine on his dusty old fuck's breath is off-putting. Uh, probably, that makes sense. So, we have Magistrate Numidianus Cossius. Cocius? I'm going to go with Cocius. Latin has the hard C. Anyway, so what we want to do here is click on our Doctore and go ahead and enable automatic gladiator training. And we can click here to research humility. It will take two days. You can see. Oh, there we go. I was just about to show you the day system. But this is fine. So now we're going to have a match hosted by the Legate. That's right. He's like sort of the military official in the area. And he's going to bring his level five Thrakes to the fight. So we're going to have to pick a guy that can compete. Hmm. 
And I'm not too convinced I have anyone that's up to it. Alright, well, we'll send in our most uh, well-equipped dude and see if that does the trick. Accept his terms. Okay, so hopefully Serena's here will be able to put a few holes in this guy that weren't there before. Alright. Okay, three, two, one, and engage. Bleed on. Oh, okay, so we're definitely doing a lot more damage than he is. Oh, parrying those blows beautifully. Yeah, Serena says he's a skilled gladiator, as you can see. This guy clearly has the ability to roll, which we have not yet unlocked, and uh, really wish we had. It really ups the ante. Oh, nice. We slaughtered him. He is but dust underneath our feet. Glory and victory again are ours. Okay, so we got gang money, gang food, gang wine, and a bunch of equipped soldiers. Ooh, and a Retarius, so the guy with the net. That's pretty awesome. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. Anyway, a heavily armed soldier bar barges into your ludus unannounced. His armor is adorned with very fine detail, and you gather that he is an important person by the way he strikes fear into your slaves. I am the Legate, commander of the military detachment stationed nearby. I was impressed with your showing in my games yesterday, but if you want to win more bouts in the arena, you will need better trained warriors, and I have many to spare. My warriors may not as, uh, be as agreeable and cheap as the magistrate's useless wares, but at least they know how to wield a sword. The man demands wine as he reclines on your balcony. I shall, I shall ply him with some wine. We'll send him one wine and the magistrate can have a wine too. And you can do that just to uh, make friends with them, help them out a bit. Alright, now we've got quite a few people in here, so what I'm actually going to go right ahead and do is uh, take Gavius of Sicilia here, and we're going we're gonna to grant him his freedom. That's going to up the morale a bit in the in the Ludus. We're going to send all of these guys away because we're going to keep our, our more well tra more well equipped gladiators. Like I said, we want to heal this gentleman here. And we're going to want to go ahead and... Oh, we got another game. Damn it. <laughs> I can't show you anything just yet. Okay, so another one with the magistrate. That's absolutely fine. And we're going to have to send in our more... Oh, hold on. Was he a level... Two, you can see there, just below, he's got an Iron Spear, he's a Retarius, he's a level 2 Gladiator. I think it'd be interesting to send in our um, Retarius, or perhaps our Thrix here, yes. This, this guy's disposable, he's only worth 45 coin. Let's send him in and get him some experience. Okay, 3, 2, 1, and bleed on. Alright, so we definitely got the damage advantage over him, but this guy's got mad mobility, as you can see. He also got us with the net there, but we managed to cut through it. Uh, that's sort of his real uh, endgame. Hold on now, we need to pick that up. Unfortunately, I can't control the guy, but hopefully combat swings over to uh, this little sword right here. Damn it! The guy picked it up. Yeah, that's a gift. Every now and then the crowd might throw you weapons that you can use to combat. Okay, we are still ahead on the health game, but this guy is doing way more damage than us. Oh, that sword he picked up is seriously powerful. I think if we had not lost that, uh, if we had not missed that opportunity, we might actually have won this. Although it's not, it's not over yet. We've still got 50 to 20 health, 28 to 30, oh, and we have been bested. Okay, now our guy has been taken down, and I have to now click. Uh, there we go, click, 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 click. Oh, not fast enough. you got to sort of spam the click buttons in order to get him up, but no luck there. Okay, our father calls to you. You show great promise as a Lanista. No, I'm sorry, I can't do these voices. <laughs> you show great promise as a Lanista. You are a natural. No doubt you seek glory in Rome. In order to qualify for the great championship games, you will need to win some regional championships. This map shows the local heroes. That's the one over there. Um, the, sorry, this map shows the local heroes, some of them massive behemoths, for each region. I've estimated the cost of attending each of those games, but be aware that while the rewards are handsome, it will cost a great deal of resources to travel to these games. When you have achieved a victory at a regional championship, I will tell you of Jupiter's blessings. Okay, so there we go. Now I can finally show you the countdown timer. So as you can see, there are six days till the next battle, and we have 351 days until the championship, at which point we have to have defeated at least three of the nine uh, great champions. Let me just pick aimed attack. Our gladiators have more direction starts. And here we go. These are the, the champions we will have to contend against. As you can see, this guy's like a level 30 Retarius. He's a big one. We're not gonna we're not gonna fight against him just yet. Uh, what else have we got here? We've got a... Uh, Licinius the Animal. He's a Mamillo at level 25. That's quite a heavily armored one. And he is bearing a Zweihander. He's a, that's, that's a pretty hefty blade. Okay, otherwise we have um, Ulpius the Scourge of Rome, who's a Thrax at level 20. Now, let's see, that's after a few more matches. That's going to be within the realm of possibility. So what we're going to do is uh, everybody should be healing. Let me just make sure. In fact, actually, let's go ahead and hire some staff because we've got the coin. 
So we're going to hire a medicus. He's basically our medic, an architect to improve our ludus, and a faber to fabricate new things for us. We're also going to buy some chow, wine, and water, so I don't forget. It's not expensive. Also, now these guys can uh, do certain things. For example, I'd like to gather some stones with the architect. He'll just fill up some of these training spots, and that will help strength training, because I want this gentleman here to go maximum strength training. He's going to get all the health. Okay, then I would like to research auto healing or enable auto healing and we can research antibiotics and that will just improve our healing time. And I would also like to auto upgrade. There we go, research auto upgrades through him and then that means that every day he will automatically um, upgrade one piece of equipment. So the way they, oh, well, there we go, let's fight before we talk. <laughs> let's put our money where our mouth is. Okay, so legate, uh, that's not bad. We've got a level 12 fight. Uh, what's our guy here? He's level 4. Oh, we're a bit outgunned on this one. I don't think that's a good idea to fight this fight. So we're going to reject these terms. We're not quite ready. Mostly because I would like to up this guy's equipment a bit. So as you can see, he is he's actually pretty well kitted out there. They started off as a good one. We're going to upgrade his Gladius there. You right-click to improve it. Um, in fact, we're going to spend all the money and get him the basic Quama. Which, uh, which gives him quite a bit more uh, damage. I think it's a damage of 14 as opposed to 10. It's pretty good. Okay, then we can also... Yeah, he's actually just looking pretty good. You know, I don't want to spend too much more money here. So I'm happy with that. Um, we're going to get Decius here, though, who is uh, our level 1. And we're going to give him some more armor. So you just right-click, basically, where you would like to upgrade. And uh, yeah, we're going to give him a better weapon. Not that much better. And we're going to slightly better shield, some better greaves. Nice. We're going to give him a, a black leather studded cock. Just to <laughs> We're going to go all the way to, uh, to a leather, to, to, you know, a fancy leather skirt, though, because we want him to feel pretty when he's sorting people in the ring. Um, we can actually, let's go all the way to the basic Thrake's helm. That's fine. That's sort of that mesh one you often see in sort of depictions. Okay, so we've got two relatively well-equipped uh, fighters. In fact, we're going to push for the next level shield just because it's better. Uh, yeah, so that's quite a bit of coin spent. I'm happy with that. And we've gathered some stones. So what we're actually going to do now is go ahead and I think we should maybe build. Hmm. I think we should maybe build the wall reinforcement because you do get hit with natural disasters from time to time. That will take 22 days to complete, but it'll make sure that our gladiators can't escape. Okay, so let's go ahead and research uh, Nimble Stance so that our gladiators always run. Otherwise, they sort of just ponder around the place and they, they get murdered. Okay, here's the next thing. During a celebration in the city, a woman dressed in all the latest fashions catches your eye. After a brief flirtatious conversation, the woman disappears without a trace. You shout after her, but you find that she has stolen your purse, which contained three coin. Both the legate and the magistrate are annoyed with your petty financial problems, but reluctantly offer their help. Ask the legate to help bring the woman to justice. Should we ask the magistrate to help bring her to justice? Should we respectfully decline their offer and embarrass yourself no further? It would appear petty to worry over the loss of three coin. And search for the woman yourself. Her perfume will be your undoing. Absolutely, we will hunt her down. You cover your face with your robes and dispatch your bodyguard so that you can navigate the streets with more stealth. Picking up the faint scent of the woman's perfume outside of a brothel, you violently kick open the door and demand the occupants produce the vile whore who stole your purse or Jupiter help you. Blood will be spilled. Several drunk patrons point uh, to a door behind which you find the woman emptying your purse. You slap her face and retrieve not only your coin, but a sack full of someone else's. Nice. We made a damn profit on that 78 coin. Yes, please. Okay, here comes antibiotics researched and done. Nice. So we're going to go ahead and get the other bait. We might as well just get all of these done. Let's get uh, hand washing. As ridiculous as that sounds, that's the technology you got to look into. Okay, so we've researched nimble stance. Um... Let's go ahead and, I think, get Mind Control, which will allow us to control one of the fighters. I don't really like doing it, as it does really sort of drag the fights out quite a bit. Okay, well, we're going to be sending in... He's our level 12. I kind of want to send in Kale here. No, he's level 4, he'll die. No, we'll send, we'll send in our level 12. Let's get, let's get this guy to, to kill up that uh, Rotarius nice and quick. Uh, he's got a pimped out weapon, he's got decent armor, he's got a pretty good shield. He should be able to do some damage without too much trouble. So this game isn't really balanced in the late game, because you can kind of just pick one gladiator and make him into, like, you know, the gladiator, and then he's just super pimped out and no one can touch him. Um, and you could just, like, burn through all of the the champions in two days. It's, it's, it's kind of ridiculous. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's not really what we're going to go through here. I want to kind of get, like, a nice pool of gladiators. Uh, so we're going to see what we can get out of this. 
Okay, stab, stab, stab. Come on, finish him off. Nice. Oh, decap. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right. Okay, let's get all the money. Get them. Oh, we got another slave. Commandanius. All right. Well, we're going to train you as a Thrax. Perfect. And you can get some cursory armor. Just click random places. Just give him some random shit, you know. There we go. That'll, that'll, that'll do him. That'll do you for... Okay, you gave him a cursed shield because we, we don't like him very much. Anyway, he's going to do some training. Okay, now you're, do, you're going to do your strength training on the floor here, which uh, which gets a bit of a boost because of the uh, the rocks. And you're building wall reinforcements. Okay, all of our research is being done. So what we can do now is ply the legate with some more wine till he's uh, happy and then ask him to uh, become the patron of one of our gladiators. He's become the patron of Plotius, this guy here. Basically, that means that all of this guy's expenses are then covered by the legate. And we can do the same here with, uh, there he goes, he's adopted Kyle, uh, this guy right here. Okay, so these two dudes have been adopted and are being helped out. Let's, I want to move Kyle up here. I want all my veterans where I can see them at the top there. Perfect. And since you've been uh, patroned, you can go there. Okay. Now, yeah, I want you, I want you, Mr. Kyle, I would like you to, uh, you can have a better shield for starters. And you can uh, have some better equipment all around. There we go, just because I like you now. So you can also go ahead and get some strength training done. Nice, and you go up there. Stay there. Nice. Okay, so we have a three versus three match, maybe? Oh, no, it's a gauntlet. That means that we have to fight them one after the other. That's quite intense. Okay, but we've got level seven, eight, and one. So I'm going to pick my levels... I'm going to send in my lower guys. So we can pick a level 5, our Retarius. Uh, we'll take a level 6 and our level 23, just to finish it off, just in case, you know, these guys manage to eat through our first two dudes. Okay, accepted. Nice. Okay, 3, 2, 1, fight. Okay, Retarius versus Retarius. We'll see who wins. That guy's definitely got the damage and the skill on us. He's going to kill our dude, I think. Oh, wow, we managed to disarm him completely. Didn't make much use of it, though, and I think that's going to be the end of poor Plotius here. Uh, methinks, yeah, methinks this may be the end of my boy. And he's going to be able to go and get... Oh, damn, he's got the net. If he nets us, we're in trouble. Oh, come on, get some damage in, man. Oh, okay, you got the deed, you got the disarm. He's got no shield, you can do your damage now. Okay, see, he's got the better weapon. That's a big thing. Okay, but with no defense, it may be easier to get through him. Plotius probably isn't going to survive this gauntlet, but he might be able to win this match. No, no, he's been defeated. Okay, so Arthrax is in the match now, but he's got definitely got the damage advantage over that dude. He's got the armor. I think he's going to win this one, no problem. Uh, so, no, we've lost our Retarius. That's a shame. We can't really train them just yet. We have to unlock the tech. Okay, cool. So we got him to surrender. Now it's time to push forward to get this one. Oh, we are taking some heavy damage here. Uh, I think that Kyle here might actually die. No, nope, he's he's down. Yeah, he's surrendered. And uh, I've never managed to get the clicking right to uh, stop them from dying. <laughs> okay, they've definitely got the attack speed on us, which is a problem. Although we've got the damage. Damn. I think I'm about to kill this dude. Oh, he's just whittling down our health. One more shot and we've got him. Oh, there we go. Took his leg off. But uh, I somehow doubt we're going to make it all the way through here because we just don't have the health. Um, we definitely got the skill, but do we have the health? That's the real question. Okay, we'll manage to get through the net without being stabbed. That's good. Okay, 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 okay. Hold on. We're doing some real damage. He's only got three damage per strike. It's it's possible we might get this. Although my guy seems to have glitched into the wall. Oh, no, he's back. He's back. Okay, he's back in the game. We've got this. Keep going. Keep going. Come on. Nice, nice. Fight back. Fight back, you weakling! <laughs> Come on! Push through it! There we go, there we go. Oh, and then we just got the sound enabled again. Sorry, guys, if that wasn't present previously. I just realized I had my settings incorrect. Okay, stab, stab, stab. Get him! Oh, jeez, this is so prolonged. Would you just stab the dude, please? Come on. There we go. There we go. And he's down. Yeah, the, 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 the AI sometimes glitches into the corner. It's a bit weird, it does that. I'm not entirely sure why, to be honest. But it is what it is. Oh, we gotta click, we gotta click. Oh, crap, crap, we gotta click. We gotta click, we gotta click. 
Uh, I'm clicking! I can't save him! I can't save him! No, he's dead. <laughs> click, 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 click! Uh, I didn't know which button to click! Uh, I didn't know where to click! That's really not that well explained. Okay, well, we got two slaves. We lost two gladiators. That's the end of the world. Uh, we'll, we'll come back from that. Okay, let's enable auto upgrade. And I think we're going to research the improved furnace as well as anesthesia. And I think we're going to call it there. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I sure enjoyed recording it. I will see you in the next one. Cheers.